okay just to have an idea about the unit and dimension and what's the difference between the unit and dimension and you have to know the difference between unit dimension but then when you go to the unit you have to know the basic unit the multiple unit the derived unit all these things you have to know so if i give you a set of unit and i ask you classify them you have to be able to do so okay <coughs> so we will start with 2.1 which is units As I said, no talent is available in my website. You can go, copy it, or print it, bring it with you. If there is something you have to add, you can add. If there is something wrong, you can correct it instead of writing it again. That's the Sariah again. Already more good. So you can print it and print it with you. If you want to write everything, it's up to you. And for me, I like to write my own. But synthetic, that you print it and you copy from it. Okay. Any quantity has. So if I say I have five, what are you going to say? Five what? Five what? Five what? <coughs> if I say I have cars, what are you going to say? How many, how many cars? It's not defined. But if I say I have two cars, <coughs> I define value. the value and I define the unit. So now it is very clear to you what do I mean? What do I have? If I say that you will have exams, you will say, how many exams? You will have quizzes. How many quizzes? There should be value and unit. Like two meters. 1,200 <coughs> 30 degrees centigrade. This is useful. Now, dimension. <laughs> dimension is <coughs> F. Row. Quality. That can be. Call them dimension. So dimension, what is it? It is something that can be measured. You can measure it. We call it dimension. Or calculated by multiplying or <coughs> Dividing other dimensions, such as length over time. So this is dimension of what? Speed. Speed. Which is velocity.
Length Q. Volume. Volume. Mass over <coughs> length Q. Density. Density. Great. Now, when I have a photo, sometimes I ask them what is the dimension of the velocity. It will be meter per second. This is the unit. Zero. This is the unit. You have to differentiate now between the yeah. dimension. Dimension. dimension and units. Yeah. units. A dimension in any system is the same. سواء انت تستخدم الاس اي يونت نتكلم عنهم بعدين تستخدم الاس اي يونت او تستخدم الامريكان سيستم ات از اولويز لينكت اوفر تايم اولويز لينكت اوفر تايم الفيلوسيتي ما تطلع عن لينكت اوفر تايم لكن اليونت ات كود بي متر بير سكند ات كود بي فيت بير مينيت ات كود بي اني يونت بس الدايمنشن ما يطلع It is one dimension for everything. Follow, Shabab? Okay. Measurable unit. So mainly today, you have to, by the end of the class, you have to differentiate between a dimension full unit and known different system of unit. Measurable unit. The numerical value of two quantities may be added or Subtracted only 
F Ray Up Then Same Ah Same dimension or same? Same unit Why is it same dimension? The dimension has to be different But not the same So same If you want to add or subtract They have to have the same Unit. If they have same dimension, the equation is right. Equation dimensionally, we call it dimensionally homogeneous. It's not wrong, but we cannot add or subtract before we convert unit. So first we have to convert unit. Okay. So let's convert between. It's dimensionally homogeneous, which is correct, or we can add and subtract. So, when we say five apple plus three apple equal eight, we can add them, okay? And if we say three centimeter minus two centimeter equal one centimeter. All with Shabab and two or one, we Emphasize that whenever you put a number, you put a unit. Otherwise, you will lose your <coughs> mark. Always, when you put a number, you have to put the unit. Always. You don't forget the unit. What if we say 30 kilo meter minus 2 kilo gram equal what? Nothing. You cannot. Not homogeneous. Not homogeneous. Dimensionally is not homogeneous. Because one of them length, one of them it's mass. So you cannot subtract <coughs> mass from length. <coughs> On the other hand, values and their corresponding units may <coughs> always be combined by multiplication or divisions. What does that mean? If you need to multiply or divide, you don't worry about the unit. Any unit can be multiplied and divided by each other. So, you can say 3 Newton times 4 meter will equal 12 Newton. No problem. You can. Also, when you say 5 Kilometer divided by two. Our this will equal two point five <coughs> kilometer per hour. Three meter times four <coughs> meter will equal twelve meter second. So you don't have to worry about multiplication and division. Just be sure that you are doing the correct unit. When you multiply the numbers, you multiply at the same time the units. When you divide the numbers, you divide the units. Any questions so far, Shema? <coughs> Any question? As we said, yeah, we are starting easy and slow. Carlos, two point two. Yes. 
طيب هذا لو قلت 5 كيلو متر قسمه 5 متر بدي اقسم كيلو متر على متر وكفر بين كيلو تكتبها كيلو متر على متر بس ما عندك مشكله بس زي ما قلنا اف دي ار يوجوالي اللي الصلح عليه اف دي ار ذا سيم دايمنشن اي ويل فيكس ذا يونت فيرست فكيلو متر 5 كيلو متر باكل 5000 اوكي على اساس انه بعدين حتى هذه بتصير ريشي اوكي بعض الاحيان المتر يكنسل المتر تصير ريشي Conversion of units, and this is very important. This is very important. Would suffer mishaqe if you are not careful. Even when you go to the industry and you start working there, if you are not taking care of the system of unit, you may create a problem. Okay, the first thing that you have to know when you go work to know that company is using which system of unit. Okay, we'll have that as well. Velocity can be expressed in feet. Per second, miles <coughs> per hour, kilometer per second, centimeter per year, or any other <coughs> ratio of what? <coughs> Length. <coughs> Unit to a time. Any length unit, you divide it by time unit, it will be velocity. The last unit is centimeter over four hours. I want that. Centimeter per year. Per year. Why R? Okay. What will be the difference? Now, if you have velocity in different units, what will be the difference? What are you going to notice? The value. The numerical value. The numerical value will be different. So, if you have something like this, the numerical value will be different. So, if you say I have one hundred miles per hour, what will be the difference? Zero. 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 Zero
may be defined in terms of an ratio. So when centimeter for every ten millimeter. One centimeter for every ten millimeter. This is a ratio. This ratio can be used as convergent factor. We will see in a while. So this is we call it one centimeter per ten millimeter. I can also write it as ten millimeter, millimeter per one centimeter. centimeter. This, this is the equivalency. So now, in order to convert so, to convert quantity expressed in terms of one unit to its <coughs> equivalent in terms of another unit, what to do? Multiply the given <coughs> quantity by the How you have to put the new unit in the top and the old unit in the car so that it can sit. I just get fried. Had four days of my life. Well, Shabab. So, convergent factor. I will use this ratio. But the unit that I want to get rid of, where I put it, the bottom. The bottom. Well, unit الجديد, I put it in the top. Clear? Let's 